Hello guys, welcome to the next video tutorial on Android app development for beginners. In this video, we will see how we can create a text file and save it into the internal storage of your Android device. So there are two ways you can uh, save a file in your Android device. One is in the internal memory and other is the external memory. So in this video, we are going to see how we can save a file in, a, in the internal memory. Okay, so what I have here is I have two buttons. One is to read the text file and one is to write to the text file. And I have one edit text here and one large text. This edit text I'm going to use to enter some text to save and this large text I'm going to use to retrieve the data I have saved. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, I'm going to create some methods. So I will go to the text area here and for the button two, which is for reading, I'm going to add a attribute on click and the name I will uh, give it here is read. Okay. And same I will do for the right button. So instead of read here, I will just write write. Okay. Now I will go to the main activity dot Java file here. And in here, first of all, I will declare two variable one for text view and other for edit views. So edit text. Now I will uh, cast these two variables. Now after casting these two variables, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two method, one to read and one to write, right? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my write method and inside my write method, I'm going to create a variable called my text message, for example, and I'm going to extract the text from the text edit and pass it into this variable. So I will take my edit text variable from here, paste it here, dot get text and dot to string. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an instance of file output stream, which we can use to output to our text file, right? So file output stream, the object name is equal to open file output and then give the name to your text file. For example, my text dot text and then give the mode. So for example, mode, I am going to give it like, uh, for example, mode private. Okay. And this mode private indicates that no other uh, app can use this file other than your app. Okay. So it's private to your app. Now you can see here, it's going to give you this red line and this red bulb. And it says you need to surround your code by try catch block because it can throw. So just click surround with try catch and everything will be good to go. Now take your object, which is file output stream, and then just call a write method on it. And then we will pass our string here in the form of bytes. So my text message dot get bytes. Okay. And this is also going to throw an exception. So you need to add one more catch clause. So just click this uh, red bulb and just uh, add a catch clause here. Okay. Now, once you are done with this, once you have written to the file, you need to close the file. So take your file output stream and close it. Okay. And after closing, you may want to uh, show that your file is saved. So you can call a toast dot make text and then the context. And then you can uh, give some text, for example, text saved. 
okay and then the length of your text so for example toast length long dot show okay and you may also want to uh, clear your edit text after writing to the file so you can just use edit text dot set text and set an empty string here okay when you want to read a file this time you want to use a object of the class called file input stream okay so file input stream is equal to new file input stream and give the name of your text file which is this one my text dot text right or if you have provided some location give the location of your text file and close it okay and now this time also it's going to give you this uh, red line here because you need to enclose it in the try catch block okay now after this you need to have input stream reader input stream reader object is equal to new input re stream reader and then you need to pass your file input stream to this uh, input stream reader object okay the third object you need is buffer reader okay so just use buffered reader buffered reader object is equal to new buffer reader and pass your input stream reader in this constructor here and then last thing we need is string buffer is equal to new string buffer and one more variable we need is a string because we want to read this uh, text line by line in a variable and this will store these lines this variable lines for example okay now i'm going to create a while loop here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to just write lines is equal to your buffer reader name dot read line and then enclose all this into one more bracket so here one more bracket and here one more bracket and then just write not equal to null okay and close this while loop and once again you will observe here that it's going to give you this uh, red line and this is because we need to add this catch clause here and it will go okay after this you just need to take your string buffer and append these lines into this string buffer so append and then line and then uh, we are reading these lines one by one so we need to give the line break also here right so just give backslash n now once you have all this string what you can do is you can show it into your text view so just use this text view here dot set text and take your string buffer and then give to string okay now i think one thing we are missing here is instead of using file input stream we must use open file input right so instead of uh, file input stream just replace it with open file input here like we have done here for the open file output right so let's run our code and now our app is running so i can write something here so for example this and uh, when i click write button here it's going to write this to our text file and we can see text save message here right and whenever we want to read it we can just click this uh, read button and it's going to read this text and show it into the text view okay once again some random text i'm going to write so this is some random text and i click write and it's saved and now i can read it by just clicking this read button and it reads it and display it here so in this way you can create a text file 
and write it into the internal storage of your uh, device using Android. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.